collection of 13,000 occult and witchcraft books has been found recently in the National Library of the Czech Republic in Prague. It belonged to Heinrich Himmler, a SS Nazi chief. The collection was forgotten in the library since at least the 1950s. According to the Daily Mail, the Norwegian Masonic researcher, Bjorn Helge Harjland said that the books had been mostly stolen and collected during World War II. The collection contains texts connected with witchcraft and occultism. Some of the volumes are very rare. The value of all of the books is unknown. They were gathered as the Nazis were searching everywhere for texts connected with magic and tried to accumulate everything in one place. Some of the books were taken from the Norwegian Order of Freemasons in Oslo. In 1935, the SS created a special section called H, H Sunderkommando, so named for the first letter of the German word X, meaning witch. This section was looking for documents on witchcraft, the occult, and the supernatural. They sought the information amongst at least 260 libraries and archives. Their work took place from 1935 to 1944. As a result, they accumulated the greatest concentrated collection on witches and their persecution in medieval Germany. This was the largest survey of witch trial records to be found in the history of Europe. Heinrich Himmler believed that the power of the old occult masters would help the Nazis to rule the world. He followed the witch cult hypothesis, created by Margaret Murray, a famous researcher in this field. He believed in a scientific point of view on a witchcraft and with time he became obsessed with it. He trusted that the Celto-Germanic nature religion would bring him all that he desired, but the simple version of purely traditional aspects was not enough for him. The Nazis created the dirtiest and most corrupt version of witchcraft to have ever existed. Himmler thought that the actions of the Catholic Church's Inquisition were purposefully trying to repress an indigenous German pagan nature-based religion, folkish, in a conspiracy against the Aryan race. He even tried to find proof for his own magical roots, and according to biographers on Himmler, he discovered that one of his ancestors was burned as a witch. His anger at these acts appeared in anti-Christian propaganda. He began to hate Christianity and believed that he owed his successes against it to the ones who were murdered for having a knowledge of magic. According to Georg Luck, the cult which Himmler followed had its roots in late antiquity. In his book, Arcana Mundi, Magic and the Occult in the Greek and Roman Worlds, he described the basis of the beliefs which became an important part of the political life of Nazis. The cult worshipped the horn god of Celts and a Greco-Roman pan faunus. It was a combination of gods which gave roots to a new deity, an early conception of the devil. Himmler is credited as a founder of esoteric Hitlerism. He was also deeply involved in astrology, and tried to construct a new pseudo-Germanic neo-pagan religion based on a cult created in his imagination. He approved officially pagan holidays and manipulated the facts connected with traditional pagan cults. <laughs>